USS Polybius mission report. Ship and crew are operating above and beyond expectations. With our shakedown crews complete, we are now back on active duty status. Sir, incoming message from Lieutenant Nanzil. Ah, very good. Thank you. Uh, science officer... It's officer, sir. Wait, so your name is Science Officer? Actually, Science is my middle name. Uh, what's your first name? There are some who call me Tim. Right. Very well, Tim, if that is your real name. Put Lieutenant Van Zeele's message on screen, please. Hmm. Very well, sir. Van Zeele's message on screen. On leave from Voyager, and I was passing near the Hoba system in a shuttlecraft when I picked up some odd energy readings. I took a detour to investigate. You, know, you can't be too careful where Hobus is concerned. But I wouldn't mind some help. Can you rendezvous with me at these coordinates? Having a real starship here would be a big help. The Hobus system? That's the system that went supernova and wiped out the Romulan homeworld. The Hobus system is also more than four sectors away. We should leave now if we want to be any help to Lieutenant Van Zeel. Scavern, fire up the slipstream drives. Ross, lay in a course for the Hobus system. Best possible speed. Captain, we are now approaching the Hobus system. Prepare to drop us out of warp. This is Federation Shuttle Tereshkova. I am under attack in the Hobus system, requesting emergency assistance. This is Captain Russell Nash of the USS Polybius. We've received your distress call. I'm under attack by Romulan vessels. I could use a little help here. I'm a decent pilot, but things are getting a little rough. Acknowledge, Tereshkova. We're on our way. Red alert, engines to full. All weapons stand by. This freighter's packing some serious weapons. I don't think they're hauling cargo. Understood. Just hold on. We're only a few seconds from weapons range. Hangar decks, launch all fighter drones. Sir, there's another ship to cloak in directly ahead. This is the Romulan Imperial Star Navy. You are in a restricted area. Leave immediately. All weapons, return fire! Cease fire! Damage report! All decks reporting, no damage, no casualties. Romulan Imperial Loyalists? I wonder what they'd be doing here. Status of the cargo ship. Huh, they're completely disabled. Even I couldn't fix her. Curious. Lieutenant Van Zeel said she was just passing by. Yeah, that is weird. Not only is this sector highly restricted, but with the destruction of Romulus... I've thought about that. The Hobus system is far enough away from anything that one wonders why anyone would be passing by here. Plus, Lieutenant Van Zeel said she was on leave from Voyager. What's the status of her shuttle? I'm reading moderate damage. Power levels on the Tereshkova are fluctuating. 
Nash to Tereskova. Lieutenant Van Zeel, are you alright? Thanks for the assistance. I was checking out some strange readings and discovered this errant freighter. I hailed them and they opened fire. It's a good thing you picked up my distress signal. Any idea why they attacked you? I don't know yet. Based on these ships' identification codes, these aren't Tal Shiar vessels. Just elements of the old Romulan Star Navy. They're no friends of the intelligence agencies, but also not allies of the Republic. Last true sons of the Empire, that sort of thing. I understand. Lieutenant, you said you're on leave from Voyager, but we were wondering, what brings you all the way out- Not to impose, but my shuttle's taken a beating. Do you mind if I bring it aboard? Oh, of course. We'll clear a landing bay for you. We also need to check on this freighter. <laughs> How rude! Yeah, but we may not have all the information. Don't forget, Lieutenant Van Zeel works directly for Admiral Tuvok, and we know Voyager was involved in some, shall we say, off-the-books missions during the war with the Vodwar. Some things are just above our pay grade. As soon as the Tereskova has finished docking procedure, have Lieutenant Van Zeel report to the bridge. In the meantime, begin scans of that freighter. Scanning. Their primary engine assembly is damaged, reading multiple Romulan life signs. Sir, we are being hailed. On screen. This is Lieutenant Gaia Salon. This vessel has been disabled. Your interference is disruptive, but survivable. Lieutenant Salon? What are you doing on that freighter? This unit is executing its priority directives. All other directives have been suspended. And why did you attack us? This unit was defending this vessel against outside attack. Defensive Associates is required by priority override. Gaius, why are you referring to yourself as this unit? Scans of the freighter show is remarkably well equipped, but there is no contraband or Borg technology outside of sealants and plants. Well then I don't see anything that would explain his change in behavior. Captain, what if someone is controlling Gaius through his Borg implants? We know it's possible, and he's certainly not acting like normal. Yeah, it's almost like he's part of the Collective again. He can't answer our questions because he isn't there. We need to find out who did this. There is still a facility on what remains of the Hobus Moon, sir. I'm detecting power to its environmental systems. Curiouser and curiouser. That's where our answers are, so we're gonna have to go down there. Lock a tractor beam on that freighter. Tomet, Saras, and Scavrin, you're with me. <laughs> We may need a little extra firepower down there, so have that new red shirt security officer meet us in the transporter room. And I assume Lieutenant Van Zeel will want to come with us too. Energize. Okay, this facility is badly damaged. Atmospheric pressure is holding steady, but power is fluctuating and many of the systems are barely functional. Scans are reading several Romulan life signs throughout the facility. Whoever they are, they're deeper in the complex. I think they're trying to restore full power! Let's see what we can learn from these computers. Environmental systems online. Computer core usage 12%. Alert. Alert. Oops, I think I triggered... No, wait. We're okay. But this console's locked out. We're gonna have to keep looking. This is weird. I was under the impression Obisek had his forces looking after this facility. Guards ahead. Weapons ready. working on here. Power systems nominal. Geothermal taps functioning at 58%. Main archives locked. Gate status non-operational. They have enough power, but it looks like they're still locked out of the computer memory. That doesn't help much. They must be trying to gain access to the gateway data. You know, it occurs to me that Starfleet has known about this facility for some time. Why don't we have guards here? A monitoring station? Something. It feels like anybody can just walk in here and take whatever they want. Oh, oh, that's... Oh, guys, we got bodies. Looks like Remans. I think we just found out what happened to Obisek's forces. 
There's nothing we can do for them now. I know various factions have skirmished over this facility since Romulus was lost, in hopes of finding out what caused the supernova. Ugh, these wounds are recent too, consistent with Romulan military disruptors. I am surprised that statue survived all the battles that have happened here. <laughs> Perhaps it's so unsettling that people are afraid to damage it! Huh. Yeah, maybe. I think we should keep moving. This way. There's a door to the left. Life signs on the other side. Get ready. Alright, Galactic Health and Safety Inspector. We just came to make sure this place is up to code. And we have found you in violation. I'm afraid the punishment is quite severe. Good work, people. They were definitely looking for something in the computer system. Let's see if we can find out what. File system halt. Verifying integrity. File corrupted. File corrupted. Restoring from backups. Please wait. We need to get to that lab. Whoever's behind this might be trying to restart the Iconian gateway. This place has seen quite a lot of fighting. Taurus attempted to reactivate the gate. The Republic counterattacked. Whoever's assaulted it now, this base is essentially a war zone. We better get to the gate room and make sure it's still secure. This way, follow me. Reading quite a few Romulans in the next room. Be on your guard. They've activated the gateway. Through the side door and down to the gate. Oops, watch out! That is Sela by the gateway. Sela? What's she doing here? Alright, hold it right there, Sela. You're under arrest. I surrender. Ah, save it. There's no point in resisting. We have you completely surround- Wait, what did you say? I surrender. So that- th that's it? Well, no. I do still have crucial information about your poor friend, Lieutenant Ceylon, and how to fix his addled Borg brain. About the gateways, and how to use them. About the Iconians. Now tell me, aren't those things more important than the fleeting pleasure you'll get from shooting me? Possibly, but I'm not interested in any more of your lies. But you are interested in what I can tell you. This gateway is damaged beyond repair, but I learned a thing or two when I was a guest of the Iconians. I know how to operate their gateways, and I've memorized several sets of coordinates. I know about places you haven't seen yet. In fact, the only reason I was here was to open a gate to a specific Iconian base. Oh, fleeing one prison to go back to another, eh? Not exactly. Do you really think there are only two Dyson Spheres? <laughs> there are more, and I know the location of the one the Iconians are still using. Wouldn't you like to see that? Why should I believe any of this? You haven't shown us anything credible. Oblivious to Captain Nash. Go ahead. Lieutenant Officer here, sir. We're getting a 
message from Starfleet Command. Patch it through. I've received some distressing news, and I need to update your mission orders. Your communications officer tells me you're not aboard your ship. What's your status? Admiral Quinn, I'm afraid I'm a little busy at the moment, sir. No, please. Go ahead. I can wait. Uh, go ahead, Admiral. We've received word that Sela has escaped from Republic custody, and that she was last seen in the Devron sector. Be aware that she was apparently aided in her escape by Lieutenant Gaius Salon, a Republic intelligence officer. She's here, sir. We found her and Lieutenant Salon with a group of Romulan Imperial loyalists. She's surrendered. Republic intelligence thinks she has some kind of information about the Iconians that she hasn't shared yet. This is a little odd, but... Let's give her a little leash. Stay close and find out what you can. See if you can determine her plans. Be prepared to bring her in if she shows any signs of endangering anyone. Understood. I'll see what we can discover. Well, well, well. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer, isn't that the same? I'll make you a deal. You want Gaius back? And you want to learn what I know? I'm willing to give you both. But first, we'll need to discuss the deal aboard my ship. Don't worry. I'm sure your crew will keep a transporter lock and whisk you away at the first sign of danger. Enjoy having the upper hand for as long as it lasts. Why not do this on my ship? You're not exactly in a position to disagree. It makes no difference to me. If you don't like my terms, I'll simply order Gaius to self-destruct the ship. He's very compliant, once you know which buttons to press. But if you want your Borg puppet back, you need to come and get him. Besides, what are you going to do? Put me in the brig? I've escaped too many prisons. You know you can't hold me for long. I suppose we don't have much choice. Whenever you're ready, we can beam up to seal a ship. But I'll go with you and watch your six. I know you're not inclined to believe me, but I am telling the truth. I do have coordinates to a sphere the Iconians are still using. The Iconians have many servants. Some, like the Alachi, you have already seen. I watched how they opened the gateways and memorized the coordinates. The Iconians are moving their soldiers and ships into position. One day, soon, they'll be right on our doorstep. And what do you want me to do? This is our one chance to find out what the Iconians are doing and when they're going to attack. And they won't wait for our ships to be in position or give us time to muster a defense. One day, one day very soon, the Iconians will simply appear at our home worlds. And we will have to fight to survive. Huh, sounds like Romulan fear-mongering to me! Indeed. Sela, what did you do to Lieutenant Salon? Poor Gaius. All oh, that Borg hardware in his head made it easy to give him some guidance. I've had quite a bit of time to learn about Borg technology. All you need to know is which switches to flip. It's been very helpful having someone on the inside. I would have never escaped without him. But as a gesture of goodwill, I'll give him back now. There probably won't be any permanent damage. Yeah, but how did you manage to reprogram him so thoroughly? His implants aren't that invasive. The Tal Shiar has studied mind control for decades, and I had full access to their techniques. Some of it is quite ingenious. Do you know that the proper sequence of mental conditioning and image projection can program someone to kill their best friend? I've seen it work. Once you know how to get into someone's head, you're there forever. <laughs> it's a good thing mind tricks don't work on me! Hey, Scavron. What? I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. Wait, what? Sela, if we're gonna do this, then we better get moving. What are we waiting for? My engineers report that they're having trouble keeping engine power stable. It appears you did quite a bit of damage to my ship. Unrelated systems keep failing in no discernible pattern. Perhaps you can take some of your people down to the engine room and have a look? 
Keep in mind that the sooner we get underway, the sooner this is all over. You know I had no choice. You had this freighter armed to the teeth. This freighter was armed by loyal Romulan Imperial officers and citizens who realized that a lone freighter would be easy prey for any space pirate. In addition, the Romulan Navy offered protection to this ship with some of the few warbirds remaining in their fleet, some of which you destroyed. Uh-oh, trigger warning! Yeah, Sela, those people were following your orders, and you know as well as these I, people as a leader... follow me because they believe in the rebirth of the Romulan Empire. A proud empire that can hold its head high and be a force to be reckoned with among the stars. They follow me because I can lead them there. As a leader, you must also take responsibility for the death of those under your command. Many Romulans died for the hope of a new future. I won't let their sacrifices be in vain. Whatever the fate of the Romulan people, I am determined to ensure that our legacy is never extinguished from this galaxy. I regret every death of every loyal Romulan. But I will honor their loss by fighting for those who still survive. We share a common interest. We have a galaxy to protect. Then it looks like we're working together, for the moment. Lieutenant Salon, Gaius, can you hear me? This unit is in diagnostic mode. What happened, Lieutenant? This unit is responding to its neural overrides. Please, help me. We'll get you out of this, Gaius. Nash to Polybius, one to beam directly to sickbed. Let's get down to engineering and see if we can get this ship moving. That's weird. The damage doesn't look as bad as I thought. Scavern, I thought you said it was completely disabled. That even you couldn't fix it. Oh, well, yeah. That was back on the Polybius. There was nothing I could do from over there. But now that we're here, it shouldn't be a problem. What are your orders, sir? We're gonna need to stabilize the plasma flow through the phase inducers in order to reinitialize the intermix chamber. Huh, intermix levels are a tricky formula to get right. If only we knew a top-level engineer. Huh, oh wait, uh, what? Tricky formula? Scavern, it's one-to-one. -one. Matter, antimatter reactions are always one-to-one. -one. <sighs> top engineer, my foot. <sighs> okay, next we're gonna need to get the main deflector back online. For that, we're gonna need a scientist. Tomet, you're up. Yes, sir. Getting main deflector back online. Saros, you're on shields. Shields, I. Peter, how are you? Oh, hell! That wasn't equipment failure, that was a bomb! Secure the room, damage control. I need a fire extinguisher! Engineering to bridge. What are you doing to my ship down there? Don't make things worse. Sir, the saboteur who set off the explosions is on the move. Scans are picking up three more bombs. Three more bombs? You'll need to use your tricorder to disable them from a distance. If you get too close... Yeah, I get it. Bombs are bad. I'm on it. I see it. Just need to get in range without triggering it. I'm sending a jamming pulse that should shrink the range of the bomb's proximity sensors. It worked! Alright. And, once again, sending jamming signal. Okay, now to disable it. Wish me luck. That's one. Nash to Polybius, beam this bomb out into space. Scanning for other bomb signatures. Well, thanks to Met, but they shouldn't be hard to find. They're making a really loud beeping noise. And they're not on a timer. They're triggered by proximity. Nobody move until I get this sorted. There it is. Scrambling sensors. Wash, rinse, and repeat. I'm disabling the second bomb now. How many bombs does this saboteur have? I shouldn't need to remind you that we're on a timetable, so I won't. I'm getting more readings on the device's energy signatures. I'll have the last bomb disarmed in a few seconds. Stand by. up a 
trace, sir. The saboteur is nearby. He's close. Everybody spread out. Secure engineering. West corner is secure. East corner secure. South corner secure! Who's that up there? There! That engineer has another device! Hold it right there. Don't move. I recognize you. You have to help me. I'm a Republic intelligence operative on deep cover. I infiltrated this crew of Romulan naval officers because they were still loyal to Sila. We can recapture her if we can keep this ship disabled. How did you happen to get aboard Sela's ship? This is too much of a coincidence. Republic intelligence has agents seeded through many of the groups in the Old Guard, and even a few infiltrating the Tal Shiar. It was happenstance that I was embedded in the group that helped Sela escape prison. What I need now is to keep this ship stalled long enough for the Republic to arrive. Then we can take Sela back to prison where she belongs. I can't let you do that right now. And I can't let you keep this ship stopped. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to stun you. Sela's using you. She'll never tell you anything of substance. If she was the Iconian's prisoner, she couldn't have seen anything important. If she's still working with them, then she's leading you into a trap. Your only chance is to capture her now and help us reveal anyone in the Republic who helped her escape. I have to let this play out. Sela won't tell us anything, but if she thinks I'm on her side, then she'll show me everything. Nice shot, Saras. Come on, let's get back to the bridge. I understand you've captured a saboteur. I won't tolerate a threat to the safety of this mission and my crew. I intend to have him executed immediately. I'm taking him into custody. This is non-negotiable. Very well. However, this still doesn't solve our problem. We need to find a working Iconian gate. I hesitate to share this information with you, but considering the circumstances, I might know where to find a working gateway. Nash to Polybius, lay in a course and lead the way to the Napata system. We'll be right behind you. The Napata system? Interesting. Akiv had a base there. He was conducting research for the Iconians. A friend of mine in the Klingon Defense Force was held captive there for a while. That's how I found out about it. My ship has been modified to mask its energy signature, so we should be able to get there without detection. The Tal Shiar may be a problem, though. Can't you just order the Tal Shiar to let us pass? The Tal Shiar serves the Iconians now. Certain elements of the Imperial Navy are still loyal, but the Tal Shiar would be more inclined to shoot me than listen to me. Fine, then I'm going back to my ship. We'll see what we find at Napata. Polybius, beam us up. USS Polybius Mission Report. While working with Empress Sela, our mission to unravel the mystery of the Iconians has led us to a former Tal Shiar base in the Napata system. Read in a large amount of space debris and at least one Romulan ship in orbit, Captain. I cannot determine if it's Romulan Navy or Tal Shiar, but it's definitely not a Republic vessel. Nash to Sela, what can you tell me about those ships? Those are Tal Shiar ships. The Star Navy doesn't have the interest or the means to police far-flung systems like this one. The Tal Shiar and I don't exactly see eye to eye these days, so feel free to do what you will. Akiv had a secret facility on the planet's surface. The Tal Shiar must be using his old base. Captain, the Warbird is hailing. Channel open. This is Captain Russell Nash of the Federation starship Polybius. Enemy vessel. This system is under Tal Shiar control. Stand down and prepare to be boarded. <laughs> oh, you're serious? <laughs> no. Oh, I love this ship. It looks so old, the bad guys always think it's a joke. Little do they know, the joke's on them. Go to red alert, target all weapons, and prepare to fire on my command. 
Now, fire all phasers. Quantum torpedoes, maximum yield, full spread. Fire! Warbird destroyed. Another warbird is decloaking. Responding to your request for Tractor beam on us. Keep firing all weapons. Nice work. Now move us into the debris field and begin full scans. Oh wow. This place is a starship graveyard. Sensors are reading the structure on the surface, sir. A small number of Romulans are present. I'm also picking up on some sort of dampening field. We can transport you to the outside of one of the buildings, but the field will prevent transport access to some parts of the facility. Understood. Tomet, Saras, Scavern, and Peter to the transporter room. Energize. Hakiv's private research facility. Soon all this will be lost to the sand. What a monument of folly. One visit here was enough. I was here when Starfleet came to follow up on Captain Beardy's reports of this place. Never thought I'd be back. I don't remember that. Must have happened off screen. Quiet, Scavern. something wrong here? The Tal Shiar commonly use a diverter to intercept standard access codes on electronic locks. Give me just a moment. There. You really should learn some of these things. Charming. Don't turn your back on her for a second, Lieutenant. Someone else has been through here recently. Yeah, it looks like... Wait, do you hear voices up ahead? Why am I not surprised the mess hall is the one place here that isn't a total wreck? It wasn't, but at least now it matches the rest of the base. Maybe we can find some clues in the Tal Shiar's staging areas. Oh, you mean like that data pad? Good eye, Saros. Let's have a look. Personal log. We've managed to adjust our scanners and locate another passageway behind one of the walls in the office, but nobody can figure out how to get it open. It's likely locked down via the computer systems. At this point, I think it's going to be a matter of cracking the codes, but Haki was so secretive and paranoid he used a fractal-based encryption. Not even the Borg could break this thing. We have the computer working on it, but it's going to take months, and that's if we get lucky. The commander says that forces are needed elsewhere, so she's only going to leave a skeleton crew behind here. Says that if we can't get anything useful, there's no sense leaving troops on a deserted planet. I just hope she decides to pull us out sooner rather than later. Hmm, interesting. Let's see what else we can find. At least they were smart enough to take the weapons out of the armory. Let's see what we have here.
personal log. Though we've managed to restore partial power to the exterior facility, the lab itself remains on its own power system with a distortion field around it. This whole mission has been an exercise in futility. I told the commander it would be, but she doesn't want to hear anything negative. She's pulled out most of the engineers and just left our two squads behind in case we stumble across something new. I hate this planet. There's nothing to do but maintain the power systems and keep sand out of the door tracks. Huh, a penny for every time I got sand in my door tracks. Come on, Hakeev's office is right around the corner and I am really curious about the secret door they mentioned. Hakeev Sanctum. I'm guessing that side door isn't just for show. There must be a way through this blank wall. Maybe there's a release trigger in the office. Ooh, access denied. It's heavily encrypted. Allow me. Computer, recognize identity Sela. Code Empress 1. Unlock lab access. Access granted. Welcome, Your Imperial Majesty. Always have a backdoor. I'll try to remember that. Scavern, make a note of it. Right. Always use Sela's backdoor. Got it. Another secret door? Hakiv was always so melodramatic. Sela, where are you going? Wait for us! Ugh. She's headed for the gateway. If she gets away from us, this'll all have been for nothing. Sela, hold up a minute, will you? Where's the fire? What are you doing? This gateway should be simple to activate once we bypass Hakiv's security. Then we can finally take a look at what the Iconians are doing. Well, if what you've said so far is true, then this is a risk we need to take. You're getting a little too close to the truth. It's time to eliminate you both. What? Lieutenant Van Zeel, have you lost your mind? You should be more careful about the loyalty of your subordinates. Stop her! Don't let her escape! Kill it! Hey, check it out! It's a Firefly reference! What are you talking about, Scavron? That neural parasite explains why Vanziel turned on us so suddenly. Still, there's no telling how she was infected. It must have happened while she was on the Voyager in the Delta Quadrant. The parasite's gone, but we need to get her to sickbay. Yes, sir. We'll take care of it. I think I understand what's happening now. Lieutenant Van Zeel was pursuing Sela because of the parasite. She probably even started the fight that she called for us to help finish. She's been under the thrall of the Iconians this whole time, sir. She has observed you and Sela's activities thus far, no doubt to learn Sela's plans, and in turn, eliminate her. If the Iconians want Sela this badly, she's probably on the right track. Nash to Polybius, one to beam directly to sickbay. There we go. I'll just put in those coordinates. Wait, what? No, don't put in the coordinates yet. Whatever, just don't power up the gateway yet. Fine, but just wait for us before you- Why are you walking towards it? Sela, don't take any more steps. Don't you get any closer. Sela, I'm warning you right now, don't walk through that gate. Do not even think about- And she's gone. Fantastic. Well, we can't let her get away. We don't have any other choice. We're gonna have to follow her without having any idea what's on the other side. Find us soon.
Good. There's a gateway on this side. We won't be stuck here. Stuck here? Now, let's see what secrets we can wrest from this facility. <gasps> you! Taurus. Stop her! Automated defenses? What a waste of time. Actually, they're surprisingly effective. Ouch! Get that force field down! Force field, right. Uh, let's see. Just hit all the buttons! Oh yeah, good idea. Whoa, that actually worked! I know, right? I won't let you take me! We need to catch her before she can cause any more trouble. She's locked the door. Try to unlock it with one of these consoles. Okay, but in case it's not obvious, I have no idea what I'm doing. Interesting. According to this data, we're in the Andromeda Galaxy. Andromeda? You should download some of these files to your tricorder. Downloading? And I'm locked out of the console. Try this one over here! Hmm. This sphere seems to be much older than the others. There's communication traffic from Iconian ships inside the sphere. I've never seen these kinds of vessels before. Download anything you can about their ships, weapons, battle plans, anything related to what we came here for. Ah, here we go. Almost there. Got it. The door is open. Whoa! Oh, what... what is this? Taurus must have overloaded the perimeters in that plasma conduit. She's turned this room from a plasma allocation conduit into a death trap. Who even builds rooms like this into a structure anyway? There are control consoles across from the containment area. If we can get to them, you can probably shut down the system. Oh, hell. All right, any ideas? We'll need perfect time. Right. Wait for it. And go! Oh, crap. <laughs> what are you listening to me for? You said go. Oh, I was just messing with you. Oh, keep going, though. You'll be all right. Crap, 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 crap. Okay, okay, okay. I got this. I got this. Just wait for it. Watch their movements. And... Here we go. Okay, okay. And... Oh, crap. Um, um... Oops, I may have made a fatal mistake, guys. Oh, dear. Um, okay, here we go, here we go. Uh, here, here's the console. Okay, I've shut down the thermal vents. Now I just need to turn off the plasma beams at the other console. Done, Captain. I knew you could do it. There's nowhere left to run, Taurus. Do you really think the Iconians will help you now? No, you don't understand. I didn't seek them out because I wanted to rule. I needed them to save us, to turn back time, to undo Hobus, and bring back Romulus. Then you're more of a fool than I thought. You poor deluded creature. The Iconians aren't interested in saving anything. Nor could they. We have to get out of here. It's not safe anymore. They're coming. I guess you'd better go then. If you had only known, Taurus, the Iconians can't travel through time. It destroys their minds. How absurd to think that she could have ever accomplished anything significant. She lost her throne and spent years in mindless devotion to gods who could not hear or answer her prayers. Can you clarify that for me, Sila? Why can't Iconians travel through time? Iconian minds aren't like ours. They're entangled 
with chroniton states. I'll spare you the boring details. It helps to orient them when using their gateways, but it means that they can't go back and forth in time like we can. Doing so would cause the Iconian to lose its memories of the intervening time. Taurus' fanaticism blinded her. She studied everything about the Iconians, but never learned the one simple fact that would have ended her quest. There was only one thing she didn't get wrong. The sphere just jumped. We need to leave immediately. Why the rush? All we've seen is automated defenses. We could learn more about the Iconian plants here. Take a look at the sky. In a sphere like this, nothing should obscure the sun. Those aren't clouds. Look, it's nighttime inside this sphere, but it's never dark inside the other spheres. The Iconian fleets are here, and there are so many ships they're blotting out the sun. Oh, shit. I see you. Time to go. Lachi troops, watch out. Did you feel that? The sphere just jumped. The Iconian invasion is beginning. Let's get out of here. You Hi, how are you? My name's Russell. Your galaxy is dormant. Well, that's not very nice. Oh, hey, are you the source of the ominous booming voice? Um, I don't think it was. It's a herald. The personal guards and servants for the Iconians. Fighting is not our best option. Head for the gate! Run! Get out of there, you guys. I'll lay down cover fire. The herald will be back. And let's not be here when he does. Hurry up! Oh man, that was fast. Head for the gateway! I don't think we're gonna make it! That's quitter talk, Scammer. Just keep moving. Destabilizing. I'll take care of this. Jump through now. Come on, hurry. Oh, we're right behind you. Everyone accounted for. Everybody, all right. Good. Nash to Polybius. Sir. We've been wondering what happened to you since you disappeared from our scanners. Command has sent out a fleet-wide alert. We need you back on the ship right away. I've been on another Iconian Dyson Sphere that's preparing for an invasion. I need to get in touch with Command. Report! Fleet-wide alert, Captain! Starfleet Command is ordering all available ships to proceed to the Iconia system at maximum warp. Then make it so. Plotting course for the Iconia system. We've arrived in the Iconia system, sir! I think our problems just got a whole lot bigger. Begun, the Iconian Wars has. Why did you say it like that? Quiet, Scavern. It's good to have you back. A Dyson Sphere jumped into a position near the Iconia system less than an hour ago. We don't know anything about it, but based on the preliminary notes you've logged, we think it's the same sphere that you discovered with Sela. I hate to admit it, but she was right. The Iconian invasion is here. There's no sign of Sela, incidentally. We'll keep looking, but I have a feeling she won't be found until she wants to be. And as long as she stays away, I'm inclined to let her go. She'll have to answer for her crimes someday. But but we have much more immediate concerns. Saras laying a new course.
I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. Wait, 